Hey guys, so today is dictation day. This is our second time doing Y. Remember, Y says Y. Yeah. You'll need a piece of paper. You'll need something to write with. And remember, your paper can either be lined or blanked. It doesn't matter. I'm going to say the word. We're going to say the word. And then I want you to say the word. When we're dictating it, you can either pound it or tap it. So we'll say the word, pound it out. After we've done that, then we're gonna start writing. We'll say the sound, write the letter. When we're done writing the letter and dictating the words, we'll go and rewrite it. After we do five of the words, we're gonna write a sentence. Okay, so first let's do our first five words. Our first word we're gonna do today is yak. Say it with me, yak. Say it without me. Good, now let's pound it out. Y -a -k. Yak. Okay, do it without me. Good job. Okay, so our next sound, our first sound is what? Y, because the word is yak. So what letter says y? Y. Okay, the word was yak. Y. A. What letter says a? A. Now the word is yak. Y. Ack. Now we know three ways to say this sound. Because C says k, K says k, C, K says k. So since it's coming at the end of the word, we never have C at the end of the word. So it has to be K. Okay, now let's sound it out. Y, A, K, Yak. Now it's time to rewrite it. The first letter was Y. Right here. Second letter was A. Third letter was K. Let's sound it out again. Y, A, K, Yak. Okay, I'm gonna erase mine. Our second word is Yip. Say it with me. Yip. Now you say it. Good. Let's pound it out. Y -ip. Yip. Do it without me. Good. So the word is yip. First sound is y. What letter says y? Y. Okay. The word was yip. Y. I. -I, -I. What letter says i? I. Make sure your dot's floating. As I always tell my kids, we don't want lollipops. So the word was yip. Y. I. P. What letter says p? P. Let's sound it out to make sure. Remember, the word we wanted was yip. Y. I. P. Yip. Okay, we spelled it right. Now let's rewrite it. First letter was Y. Second letter was I. Third letter was P. And that is yip. Go ahead, I'm gonna erase mine and we're doing our third word. Our third word is yob. Say it with me, yob. Say it without me. Good, okay, now let's pound it out. Y, a, b. Yob. Remember the word is yob. Now you do it without me. Good. The first sound is y. What letter says y? Y. Okay. The second sound, remember my word was yob. Yob. Y. A. What letter says a? O. Okay. Y. Ah, uh, b. What letter says b? B. Let's sound it out. Remember, the word I wanted was yob. Yob. Y. Ah, uh, b. Yob. Okay, so we spelled it right. Now we need to rewrite it. First letter was y. Second letter is o. Third letter is b. Yob. Okay. 
Our next word is yum. Say it with me. Yum. Say it without me. Okay, now let's pound it. My word was yum. Yum. Y uh mm. Yum. I used to do it without me. Good. Okay, so my first sound. Remember, my word is yum. First sound is y. What letter says y? Y. So write a Y. Okay, the word was yum, yum, y, uh, what letter says uh, you. Word was yum, y, uh, mm, what letter says mm, n. Now, sound it out, y, um, yum. Now it's time to rewrite it. First letter was y, second letter is u, third letter is n. Yum. This is our last word. Our last word is yash. Say it with me. Yash. Say it without me. Now I hear a digraph at the end, so make sure you're really listening to that ending sound. So, ready? Yash. Y -a -sh. Yash. Okay, now do it without me. Good. Okay, so the first sound in yash was y. What letter says y? Y. Okay, now the word was yash. Y. Ah. What letter says ah? A. Y. Ah. Sh. Y. Ah. Sh. Okay, so there's a digraph at the end. What says sh? S H. And remember, that's two letters that work together to make one sound. When we dictate, that's the little letters that usually have the squiggly line at the bottom. So let's sound it out. Y, A, S, H, Y, A, S. Now it's time to spell it. First letter was Y. Second letter is A. The last digraph is S, H. And that is Y, A, S. Go ahead. If we are going to write a sentence now, if you don't have room on your front page, go ahead and flip it over. So my sentence is, is Jim wet yet? Okay, I'm going to say it one time, one more time. Is Jim wet yet? Okay, I'm going to say the word and I want you to say it. Is Jim wet yet? Okay, now let's put it together. Is Jim wet yet? Okay, now the first word was is. Now that's a red word. How do we spell it? I S spells is. Now it's starting a sentence, so I need to have an uppercase I. S. Is, the next word is Jim. Now remember what goes between words? Finger space. So is Jim. And Jim is also a name, a name, so that means I need to have an uppercase for that first letter. Now let's sound out Jim. J, I, M, Jim. So the first sound is J. So it's a name. Jim is a name, so we need an uppercase J. Is J, I, 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 J, I, M, M. Is Jim now I'm starting another word so finger space the word was wet is Jim wet this is a letter that you guys learned last week so fist out pound it wet wet okay the first sound is w what letter says w w second letter is e eh. e third sound is t is Jim wet yet? Okay, now I want you to try and dictate yet on your own. So remember the word is yet. Follow along. Yet. If you think you have it, go ahead and write it. Give you guys a few seconds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So my word was yet. Y at yet. Okay, so the first sound was y. 
The letter is Y. Second sound is E. Eh. Letter is E. Third sound is T. Letter is T. Now every sentence ends with a period, but I want you guys to listen to the expression at the end of my at the end of this sentence. Is Jim wet yet? If my expression and tone changed, it got higher. So am I saying something or asking something? Since I raised my voice like that, I'm asking. I'm asking if Jim is wet. So I need to make sure I put a question mark at the end of that sentence. It's not a period this time. Okay, let's go ahead and read it. Is Jim wet yet? Okay, so let's go through our cups. C, capital letter. I have a capital I because it starts a sentence and I have a capital J because it's a name. U, does it make sense? So U is understanding. Is Jim wet yet? It makes sense because I'm asking if he's wet and you can get wet. Next one is punctuation. So does my sentence end with a punctuation mark? It does, it ends with a question mark. So if you didn't put a question mark, make sure you put it right now. S stands for spelling. So we're gonna go through and check our words and make sure they're spelled right. So the first one, the word was is. I S spells is. I spell is I S I S. It doesn't have a Z. So that word's is. Is Jim, sound it out. J I M mm, Jim. That's spelled right. So is, oops, is and Jim are good. Now try wet. Do it without me. Good, so it should say w at wet. That's spelled. Do this one without me. Good, now I'll sound it out with you. Y at yet. So, is Jim wet yet? Now you try and read it. Awesome. So, great job working today, and I will be back on Friday with your spelling test. Have a great rest of the day.